I have a three pack of erotic thriller movies here and the movie I chose for this week's review is Snapdragon starring Pamela Anderson. This was a very popular movie when I was young, particularly around 13 because it had a prime Pamela Anderson um, with a lot of sex scenes and nudity and uh, I actually never watched this movie um, during the 90s, I only watched particular scenes if you know what I mean. Um, so I just thought this would be a good chance to revisit Snapdragon and see if it actually had a good story to tell. In China, an Anglo family is brutally murdered and a young girl is taken and sold into the sex slave industry. Some years later in America, people are murdered during sex and are left with a Chinese symbol written in blood at the crime scene. A young detective, Sergeant Peckham, played by Chelsea Field, is given her first break and receives a case. She asks her boyfriend for help. Dr. David Hoogstratton, a psychologist played by Stephen Bauer, who is trying to help a beautiful young patient, Felicity, played by Pamela Anderson. The patient is trying to remember a dark past and is plagued by violent nightmares. This is an erotic B-grade thriller from the early 90s starring Pamela Anderson just before she hit it big with Baywatch. The director, Worth Keeter, went on to direct a whole bunch of episodes um, of Power Rangers and a lot of kids films so it's pretty interesting that transition from erotic thrillers to um, kids movies. Uh, the film has some really interesting early 90s photography. There's just something about the smoky lit interiors that just brings me right back to that time period and the music to this film is actually pretty good. I find the actual theme song of Snapdragon to suit the tragic nature of the main villain as well as suit the erotic relationships that's depicted in the film. The start of this movie where it shows a young girl's fam family being murdered and the girl being sold into the sex slave um, trade was, I think, very effective. The filmmakers did a great job of showing it without really relying on graphic violence. And what's really interesting about it, they uh, it, it didn't retreat to any voiceover narration or it, really any dialogue, so they showed the whole thing just just by visuals, which credit to the director, I think, think he did a solid job there with the opening. There are some really interesting psychological themes to Snapdragon. The detective, Sergeant Peckham, is a promising young detective who was given a shot with a first case about a brutal serial killer, murdering people at the point of sexual climax. The violence and nature of the crimes brings her on edge and makes her question her desire and her abilities as a police officer. Her boyfriend, a psychologist who is trying to help a beautiful uh, young and mentally disturbed patient, finds that he tries to uncover her past but he's also falling in love with her. And the patient, Pamela Anderson, who is trying to come to grips with the past and the nightmares that plague her. The sexuality in this movie is pretty corny. I think the director does an okay job of building up the sexual tensions between Pamela Anderson and Stephen Bauer, but the actual sex scenes themselves are filmed like an early 90s slow music video, and I know this is a common technique in um, erotic thrillers. Uh, like, uh, you know, they're really basic. you got the candlelit interiors, the Dutch angles, really slow editing, um, and they just feel really jarring because you're watching this psychological thriller then all of a sudden these sex scenes come on and the music's playing and everything like that I, I just find it really jarring looking at it especially from today's perspectives uh, Pamela Anderson looks absolutely fantastic in this movie the producers knew exactly what they were doing when they cast her in the role and if you got a prime Pamela Anderson you should show her off as much as possible so they, they did really well and in fact when you look at Snapdragon although she's not the main star of the film the main character of the film um, it, it is billed as a Pamela Anderson movie, you know, Snapdragon, Pamela Anderson, and I, I guess why that's why it was so popular in the early 90s. <laughs> This is a demanding role about a girl with many inner demons and this is Pamela Anderson's first major role and she just didn't have the craft to pull off such complexity. Uh, she, she is physically great for the part, no doubt about it, but once it came to really important scenes of the movie, her flat delivery of a lot of key lines just really brought you out of the drama and just made you not care uh, enough for the character, although she had such a tragic past. 
Uh, Chelsea Field, as a young detective, was the best in this movie. She looks amazing and is great um, as a tough young detective trying to solve a really brutal case. Stephen Bauer, I think, had a really great time in this movie, having erotic scenes with two beautiful girls here. There are some really hilarious scenes where his detective girlfriend finds him sleeping with Pamela Anderson as and his excuses and reactions are so funny like they're really great uh, there is one scene where he's jogging with Chelsea Field discussing the case and I, I don't know if he was doing this on purpose Stephen Bauer but the way he jogs looks so weird like if that's the way how Stephen Bauer actually jogs in real life man it that that's hilarious like that's that's weird but I, I he might have been doing that on purpose I'm, I'm not quite sure the the movie runs out of steam really fast and even some key erotic scenes at the end just couldn't take me out of the boredom like I was really bored in the last hour of the movie and it just failed to really engage me and it just wasn't thrilling it should have been a quicksand into darkness with each of the three main characters uh, like as the psychologist falls in love with felicity there should have been a drive to a thrilling climax and the character of felicity is a good femme fatale with a tragic backstory of the sex slave industry that you know has forever butchered her mind but the flat delivery of key lines by pamela anderson and the poor pacing by the director worth key just throws a lot of the key drama out the window and just made me really bored I think obviously this is an exploitation film for the sex scenes and in that regards I think they've done a good job uh, I can't recommend this movie as a good movie I don't think it had a great story to tell at all um, but if you're nostalgic about early 90s and especially about a prime Pamela Anderson definitely check out Snap Snapdragon <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Check out our podcast at www.podmeifyoucan.com.